I'm playing a character called Zelin, who is an immortal god. Your worst fears, my creativity. He has these detachable fingers and he can just throw them towards people. And these fingers insert themselves into their ears. It extracts human beings' worst nightmares. And then he takes the fingers away and he uses them for uh, other things. I met Ray for a costume design meeting and prosthetics for the, ha for the hand and the fingers. They then said, how about going bald? Because I did have hair at one time in my life. <laughs> Not much, but I had some. And I thought, oh, I don't know about this. I don't know about whether I want to go bald. So they said, well, we'll try with a bald cap and see what you think. And they said, but we can't use this because, you know, with high definition television these days, you'll see the joins, you'll see the wrinkles. So if you like this image, you're going to have to shave your head. But I loved it so much, I went, OK, I'll go for it, I'll go for it. They feel so much. It must burn them. I think it does. That night shoot was so eerie, and those houses looked so extraordinary. I, I mean, I looked at the monitor, and just that little very intimate scene with Rakaia. This is perfect, Zelen. You've done well. Take them all. It's a very collaborative process from the writing through to the design. And then the character himself, who, you know, is an immortal god, who's actually evil. Can't, you can't get away from it. He's not, he's not a nice god. He's vengeful and he's bored and, and it's fun to play those characters.